Hey, this is Full Game Prometheus, the only YouTuber that actually gives you full games of all the tips and schemes he breaks down on his channel. I'll show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. You get to see what these schemes do against live opponents, how well I make my reads, how well I don't. Uh, so, guys, I'm going to jump into the Arizona Cardinals playbook. Uh, this is a playbook that I actually pulled from my draft champions. I want to try to simplify some of the formations. These are formations that ran before. So I'm going to break through this breakdown real quick for you and show you basically how I make my reads and progressions with this particular playbook and at least give you a scheme to work with. So the first formation we're going to be looking at in this particular scheme is going to be the I-form tight pair and this is going to help me establish the run. So let's go ahead and take a look at the audibles. So with the I-form tight pair, basically we have two running plays, which is going to be the power O and the zone weak. Uh, zone weak is a little bit of an inside run, and power O is outside off the tackles. You've got uh, X slant, and there's basically, uh, it's a, a good man read with the zone read on the backside, and then you have the play action power O. Now, as far as some of the base plays we're going to call, uh, I want to establish the run up the middle, so it's going to either be the full back dive, and if my opponent really starts reacting to the full back dive, such as inches as defensive line, I might come out of the fullback fake halfback flip to catch him off guard, especially in a third and one situation. Now, the other play that we're going to call is going to be the post shot, the post shot, easy uh, easy progressions. All the other plays we're not really going to look at. The play action po uh, spot is similar to the play action power row, um, and then the curls, I really don't like that particular play in this formation. So let's go ahead and jump into the running game, and then we'll go into the pass plays from there. All right, so basically the orange line at the very at the 50-yard line would be a first down marker. And with this particular formation, what we want to do is we want to establish the inside run with the fullback dive. Uh, what's great about the fullback dive is that it's something you, you, your opponent really has to compensate for. I'm going to go away from, from the defenders if I get a chance. And as you can see right here, I'm able to get a couple double teams. Ideal situation with a fullback dive is to go ahead and switch uh, uh, you go with a two running back set, uh, and that'll actually give you some better running uh, opposed to a tight end. But sometimes you can get really good running with a tight end. All right, so uh, the next uh, thing that I'm going to go into is either a power row. Uh, I got basically three defenders or two, uh, defender over the, uh, that's actually past the tackle. So I'm going to go ahead and run to the strong side of this formation and hopefully be able to get the blocking right here to take it house. Now what I do like about the uh, the power O is that it's an easy play to flip and basically you just look at the, the, the blocking and you'll be able to turn that into a counter. And another play, if you, if you wanted to, you can do the inside zone. This will actually give you a double team. As you can see right there, the double team was right off the, off the, uh, the guard and the tackle. So this is, a, this is a very easy running game. You've got inside runs, you've got outside runs, and it'll allow you to go ahead and attack your opponent with the running game. Now what's going to happen is your opponent is probably going to start stacking the line, starting to fill up the gaps, and that's when you can actually go into uh, the slants play. And uh, basically what I like to do with the slants play is I like to take my fullback and put him on a wheel route, and I'll take my running back and put him on a wing route because that's going to be my drop down. My first progression is going to be, is going to be Fitzgerald. Uh, he's going to be my first progression on the right of the red route. Now I'm going to see if any defenders float up into the area. If not, I'm going to go ahead and throw the ball. If anybody floats up, I know it's zone coverage, and I'm just going to go ahead and drop the ball off to the running back, which is triangle. So if defenders float. I'll go ahead and take uh, the little makeshift screen right there and pick up easy yards. So with this slant route, uh, slant X route, basically it's going to be very, very fast progressions. And I'm going to always look for the slant right there to take an easy read. So that's what's really, really good about this particular play is that you've got basically a way to attack your opponent underneath and also on the slant. And if your opponent falls into zone, you got this little wing route that you can attack your opponent with if you get the good blocking up front. Now the other audible is going to be the play action power O, um, and what I like to do is I like to do just a manual five yard in, and the reason why I do this is because the cut actually uh, happens a little bit quicker with the uh, with the running back. Now you can leave the power uh, play action man animation in or not. Um, I prefer to go ahead and remove it because then I can I'm not going to get sucked into that uh, and possibly sacked uh, without the option of getting rid of the ball. Now my first progression is going to be the flat, and I'm always going to go ahead and attack the flat especially in a first and second down situation. Going to uh, do an in route and then block your running back. 
And you've got this check down over the middle uh, with uh, the tight end doing the quick in route if defenders float up. I'm going to do regular in, go with the running back route. And against man coverage, uh, you can actually hit that corner route uh, with a good tight end. So this is a really, really good play, especially when you got this deep post route that you can hit your opponent over the middle if he's sleeping, uh, if he starts looking to the flat and stuff like that. Uh, it's a very good way to go ahead and attack your opponent, and you know you have this this play in your, your disposal. Another adjustment that I did is I would actually go ahead and take my running back and or my tight end and actually motion him over, giving myself a fast regression. And then if uh, my essentially is kind of a bench look, uh, you can hit him with a quick out with the tight end, and it's just another way to beat your opponent. Now, 90% of the time, I'm going to be using the fullback dives in my base play, but if my opponent really starts squishing his line, then I can hit him with the fullback fake, uh, fake halfback flip. So if my opponent really starts trying to attack the gaps, I can go ahead and do the fake flip, and that's going to catch my opponent off guard. It's a good play to jump into maybe in a third and, a third and short situation. But it is a high-risk, high-reward. Uh, and if your opponent's actually going ahead and filling the outside, you actually can get you can you can lose yardage uh, with this particular play if the defenders aren't playing the ball correctly. So you want to be conscious of that. All right. So the first progression is going to be the drag route over over the middle, uh, and this is going to give you an easy five or six yards, especially if you can rack it and turn it up. The next progression is just going to be the, the sweet spot in the field, which is going to be right here with Grissom's app. So you're really going to be looking at your regressions over the over the tackle, and if you got time, uh, you can hit this deep uh, shot route uh, to pick up some major yards, especially if your opponents bring creeping people down to go ahead and take care of the run. So that's what I do like about this particular play. It's very uh, this this formation. It's very run heavy. It's going to force your opponent to go ahead and defend the run, and it's just going to open up your running game dramatically. And you can attack your opponent in the flats, and then you actually have you know a couple different ways you can pop your opponent up top. So to my subscribers, I really appreciate the support, I guys. I hope you uh, learned something from this. If you guys run this scheme and, and do a couple adjustments to it under the Arizona playbook let us know uh, we'd love to go ahead and just help all the subscribers uh, on this channel go ahead and get their gameplay a little bit better so once again I really appreciate the support and until next time